I've never been into sports because I grew up in a small village and I left school when I was 12 years old. Playing sports was not really something we did. I was working as a cabin crew for Emirates Airlines and I was scheduled a flight, 24 hour layover in Dhaka and I was upset for seeing so many children with so much potential going down to waste. At the time, I, I like to say I saw butterflies, I saw lots of caterpillars, and I, my goal was to help these caterpillars and transform them into butterflies. The child labor is big in Bangladesh, so the, these children, they had to work to help their families so they could eat. So most of these children, the, when I first met them, they were either working in garments factories, working in construction, or working in tea shops. The only way to come out of the, the, the slums is by having an education. And once they have this education, they can compete on a job market and they can even go to universities. And one day, they can transform their lives, their families, and as well change, to become the next change makers, transform other people's lives as well. When I was three years old, my birth mother was unemployed and struggling severely. And this is when she met a, a poor refugee woman from Angola that was living in Avanka. She was a widow. She had six children and she worked as a cleaner. And uh, Christina offered to help, to help. And she told my mother, go to Lisbon, find a job and you know, when you you have your ba life back in track, come back. But what my uh, this woman she was uh, um, motto was: who feeds six, feeds seven. So I became the seventh child. At the time, she didn't realize that my mother had a mental illness, and she would never come back to pick me up. Her name was Maria Cristina. Everything that he was done in the slums of Bangladesh was because of Christina. We have educated uh, 600 children in a, uh, since 2005. In 2009, when the recession hit us, we really struggled. Recession is what forced me to uh, look into sports as a way of fundraising money. Since then, I have uh, completed, I walked seven marathons in seven days in seven Emirates in UAE. Then I completed the uh, last degree to the North Pole. Then I started climbing and I became the first and only Portuguese woman to climb Everest in 2013. That was not enough. So 2014, I, I ran uh, seven ultra marathons in the seven continents in six weeks. 2015, decided to be bolder. So I ran seven marathons in seven continents in 10 days. In 2016, I, I signed up to swim across the English Channel. Uh, at the time, I didn't even know how to swim. I didn't make it. To swim had to be aborted after seven hours. And now, this. Six Ironmans in six continents in the shortest time possible. I would have done in a seven continent, but there is no uh, official races in, um, for triathlons in Antarctica. Uh, Ironman is a triathlon where you have to complete the 3.8 kilometers swimming, followed by 180 kilometers bike, and then you have to run a full marathon. I 
really struggle. First of all, sports is not my thing. So uh, I'm not talented, I'm not gifted in sports. So someone like me takes 14 hours to 16 hours to complete one Ironman. I was in tears so many times. I'm so lucky to have had the support of PG International, who contributed towards the expenses of this uh, challenge. And also, KCAL Extra will provide me with the nutrition throughout the challenge. I'm, I'm still not a sports person. I am not. If you saw me struggling to finish these races, that would be obvious. But I just want to show people the limits I am prepared to go, to push myself to fulfill a promise that I made to educate these children.